everyone and you're welcome. Learning the command line doesn't have to be difficult. Sometimes the command prompt can be intimidating, especially when you see that black screen with all that text on it. So what is the command line and why is it that important? Well, the command line is a low level utility that is used to have direct access to your system. Let's go ahead and see how we can use the command line. So first you can type the Windows key and type command and you can actually see your command prompt. But what I'd like to do is to press the Windows and R key and type in CMD and I'll click that. This is going to bring out the command prompt. So let's have a little fun trying to hack away and find information about our operating system using the command line. But before that, let's go ahead and change this title. To change the title, I'm going to use a command called title and I'm going to say hello mama. If I press the return key, we can actually see the title has changed to hello mama. You can actually go ahead and pause the video and type hello mama on your own command prompt to see the output you're going to get. Next, I'd like to change this color. To do that, let's use the command color to change the color of our command environment. Here, I'm just going to say color and I'm going to use the word 30 and then I have this cool blue screen. I can try things like color, let's say uh, 6B or let's say color 1A or let's say color 70, which brings me back to the default color. I'm going to leave it at color 70. So how am I getting this color and what does this mean? Let's go ahead and see that. To find information about something or a command, let's type help color. This is going to bring out a window that gives us information here. And from here, we can actually see that the zeros are going to be used for the uh, background color and the second value is going to be used for the foreground color. So if I do zero F, I'm going to have a black background with a bright white foreground. That's why when I said uh, color 0F, we can actually see this right here. So let's switch this back to color 70 and press the return key. If we want to clear out the content on a screen, we'll type in the command CLS. And remember, just like we just said right now, if we need help on a command uh, argument, we just say help CLS and press the return key and it tells us this clears the screen. So let's go ahead and CLS this and we clear the screen. That's nice. Next, let's say for instance you want to find out more about your system, like things like your processor, how much RAM you have, what kind of operating system is installed in a system, is it a 32 bit or a 64 bit operating system? We have the command called system info that helps us. Let's go ahead and type that. So let's say system info and press the return key is going to load a bunch of information and voila, just like magic, we're actually going to see that information popped up on the screen. And we can actually look at this here. So this is our host name. This is our operating system name. I'm using Microsoft Windows 11 Pro. This is the manufacturer. I can basically find out the system manufacturer whether I have a uh, Intel 64 based processor or a 32 based processor and we can actually see a lot of this information. So I'll just go ahead and jump over here and let's clear our screen. It's actually nice to see that we're hacking our operating system. Let's say for instance, I would like to start another window and type in a few commands on that window. I'll just use the start and then here I actually have another window separate running from this other window, which is actually uh, nice and awesome because I can actually work with multiple windows. Again, we can actually create a, a short command, let's say VR, and this is going to tell us the version of Windows we're working on. We're able to do all this and find information about our system just using the command line, which makes it a very interesting uh, utility. So next, we're actually going to uh, use the command line to create files, rename files, delete files, and move files. See you in the next video.